Hi my friends, in this video we are going to talk about magic alias Dunder methods. Actually I'm sure you have seen it many times in Python but I guess you didn't know the name of them. For example, we use the init method which is one of the, these magic methods in our class before and uh, we said that this method is working when our class is being initialized. We actually have methods that work specifically for some process like, like the init method. We will try to review it shortly, but just before the review, I am going to clean up a bit of what we did in the previous videos so we don't get confused. I'm going to clean what we did here. I will delete the static methods here. So let's clean it. Okay. I will create an instance from it quickly. Then let's print it. And then let's print it car one I will clean my terminal look when I printed this its output is something like that it directly return its location in the memory because we didn't specify any str or rep method inside this class we can go into the class and then we can determine what to return when we call this instance in the print function. So let me show you what I mean. We need to write an str method. But I will just write pass for now. I also want to write the rep method. And I will just write pass. I will try to explain how print function works. The first of all, the print function take the instance and they go to its class in our case the car class and the, the print function searches for the str method in that class if that is the case if it can't find it i mean if the print function can't find the str method inside the class it looks for the rep method if it if it couldn't find it it printed it is memory location by default but if we define the str method and re return some value from it the print function get the value we return from the str method and print it to the terminal so let me show you what I mean let's go in the str method and return let's say self dot I don't know self.model and uh, what else actually it is enough for now let's run it look this time the print function printed the value we return from the str method actually we can return something more more specific actually so let's use f string i'm going to cut it and then let's say self.model self.color and uh, I also want to return the horsepower so let's say calculate horsepower if I run it again I got the output that I define here because remember what I said when we call the print function, the print function look for the str method inside the class. The class I mean the class of the thing that we pass in the print function. In our case car underscore one. The class of this instance is car. So print function goes into the car class and look for the str method. It finds it, it finds it and they return the value. 
I also would like to show you the rep method. So I'm just going to return a brand for now. And if I run it, nothing happened actually. But if I remove the str method and uh, run it again, this time the rep method worked and the, the output comes from here. I want to bring the str method back. If I want to get what the rep method return, we can write something like that. You already know that. Let's print it. We got the result. However, the use of rep method here is not very logical. What we said, we will generally benefit from the value returned from this method when debugging. So then when we look at the general usage, when we copy and paste the value returned from this method, we should be able to create an instance using it without any problems. So let's try to do it then. I'm going to use fstring again. So how can we create an instance from this class? We need to determine it here. We need to write car. I mean, we need to call this class. And then we need to pass some parameters. For example, we need to write self.model. And I need to put a comma. And then I need to write self dot color, and then I need to pass the kilowatts, and uh, that's all. Let's run it again. Look at the terminal. We can create instance using this output. If I copy it, I will remove this variable for now so let's say car2 I just copy and paste here look at the terminal I could create an instance just copy this value and paste it here the usage of rep method should be like as we did we just copy it the output and they paste it here and then we created an instance from it i hope you liked it i will end the video here thanks for watching see you in the next video